Jagdit joins me now. The picture in your package of that woman knitting as she watched the screen, the share screen, says it all. They are an absolute nation. They are transfixed with the stock market, aren't they? Would you say, therefore, that the stock market, unlike the stock market in Britain, reflects the economy in China? Certainly does. Um, this is the first time foreign investors have been able to invest in China. But even if we look at the makeup of the actual Chinese stock exchange at the moment, 80 percent of it are, are actually private investors, which is a staggering number and much larger than any other percentage across any other major industry in the world. So um, they're definitely uh, liking ac the actual investing part. We've often done stories on this program about people in China actually borrowing to invest, which is uh, not a very safe way to go forward. It, you express a concern about, A, the stocks being overvalued, and you must also express a concern about the underlying debt. Which, why do you think the stocks are overvalued? Well, potentially, well, we've, even when we look at, there was a link between the Shanghai, Shanghai Exchange and the Hong Kong stock market last year, and the stocks in China are 34 percent higher in, on, in mainline China compared to Hong Kong, which is a big arbitrage opportunity yeah, yeah. Um, and also a lot of, lot of the investors are taking on a lot of debt to actually make these transactions and when I say that I mean they're highly leveraged so they're borrowing more than they can actually afford. It's interesting isn't it I mean as we approach Easter which I guess is not particularly celebrated in China nevertheless it's end of Q1 end of the first quarter and most equity markets have done extremely well including Asia and China is it to do with this accommodative stance of central banks I think there have been 20 central banks have reduced interest rates since the beginning of the year. It's likely and in China we've seen the government actually make other stimulus measures to try and improve the property sector and the manufacturing sector which is vitally important for the Chinese economy. Jagdit, thanks very much indeed. Thank you.